Hi guys, um, this video has been so overdue now. I've been in the Netherlands for four, almost five weeks. Uh, actually, five weeks tomorrow. Um, and I wanted to do a stable tour of the place I'm at now. Uh, I just haven't really had time and it's been a bit of a hectic couple of weeks. Uh, but now that I had some time, I wanted to put something together to show you guys where I am, where Chase is, and give you guys a little bit of an update on how everything's going as well. I wanted to give you guys a bit of an update before we get into the stable tour. Um, I flew my horse from Sydney, uh, which is in Australia, all the way to uh, Luxembourg. Uh, and then from Luxembourg, we then drove uh, about five hours in total uh, to where I am, which is the north of Holland. Uh, and this is where he'll be staying permanently now. Uh, and the traveling actually went really, really well. Um, the company that organized it, Equine International Air Freight, did an amazing job. We flew super smoothly uh, and Chase landed actually quite well. Um, uh, settling in wise, he wasn't really eating uh, at first, uh, but I got the team from Pavo to come out, sort out my feed and change his diet regime a little bit uh, because the food we have here is very different. Uh, but all that information will be out to you guys very soon and the reason I haven't been filling you guys in on any of this yet is because I'm actually filming a video series documenting my whole journey. It's going to be six episodes, uh, 25 to 30 minutes each, uh, and hopefully that'll be coming out in a few months, maybe one or two months. I have, don't have an exact date for you guys yet, um, but I have seen uh, the opening of the series so far and I'm so excited to share this with you guys. Okay, so enough about that. Let's get into the stable tour. Uh, there's actually somebody else here at the stable with me that has his horses here uh, and he's in the ride yet. So let's go get him and then we can start the stable tour. Okay, I think I can hear them. I think they're in the ground yet. So let's have a look. Oh. Are we interrupting? Uh, <laughs> well. Um, so this is <laughs> so this is uh, this is just a drain. Um, we share the stables here together, uh, and we have five stables and five horses currently. We've already somehow filled the whole stable, um, but we knew that wasn't going to be a problem. Yeah. And who's this one? Well, he's Macho de Shetland, big from character and a stallion, so. Yeah, but he's good. I think out of all the horses here, Macho's got probably the biggest personality, and he's the smallest. So yes. he's got he's got plenty plenty of character. Okay, so let's finally start this tour. Where do you think we should take them first? Um, maybe to the arena. Okay, let's go. Macho can come with us because yeah. <laughs> I'm sure we can't leave him alone. Um, okay, let's go. Let's go. Um, so the arena is 60 by 20. Uh, and it's obviously got drainage underneath and the surface is very good, so it's not too deep for them um, And we've had a few days here of quite hard rain, don't you think? Oh, yeah, but you just pull the thing around and <laughs> yeah. water's gone It's got a bit of like a like a, like a switch uh, And if you pull it around, it basically like drains all the water out within half an hour, which is really good um, So this is it in here Look at my little vision <laughs> Yes, it's gonna test out the arena for us real quick Oh, we're not really filming this though <laughs> um, good boy. And we also have uh, also lights in the arena, so if we want to ride at night time, we can. <laughs> well, I can see the horses looking at us from here. Um, <laughs> so let's go uh, and meet them. I've actually never had my horse with other horses before, but somehow <laughs> these Dutch horses and him have just gone really well. So I think they just don't speak the language. No, they don't. I don't think they really get each other, but Chase has tried really hard to make friends. Um, and he's in there with Giovanni, uh, which is a jumping horse in training with Yessa, and also uh, Annie or Andora, yeah. which is. Yeah, that's my, yeah, my first pony, and she was always really like a bit bitchy to other horses. But uh, actually, since she's been here, she's really sweet. So yeah. No, she's been really, I'm, really sweet. I'm, I'm very impressed with that and happy because we were a bit scared that her and Chase were maybe going to get into a yeah. fight. So I didn't know if it was going to be a problem uh, because he was gelded at five, which meant he was a stallion until he was five, if it was going to be a problem having him with a mare. But it hasn't been so far. So let's go meet them. Let's go say hello. We can also show you the paddocks. There we see the first on a horse, Andres. It's yes. my Andalusian. He's now being gelded for like four or five weeks, yeah. I think. But he misses Macho, so let's put Macho back. It, this is the crazy thing, Macho and him are so good together. Yeah, and when we put Macho with the other horses, he was just holding on to the other one was screaming and he didn't let go anyways. But. Yeah, we tried to have Macho maybe to see if he would be, was going to be okay with the other horses, but that didn't end well. So we probably won't be doing that again for a little bit. Uh, but let's go see the others, they're just down here. So uh, paddock-wise, we have this big paddock here on the left. 
Uh, and then if you look to the right, we have this paddock here as well, which has just been cut. These two paddocks actually look a little bit dry and it's because the property didn't really have any horses for how long? I think five years or something. Yeah, five years or more. Uh, so the grass isn't really used to um, having horses on it and there was a lot of very tall um, like weedy grass and as that's fallen now it's kind of dried on top uh, but we've cut this one now we're going to cut this one soon uh, and then hopefully with some rain and we'll fertilize it uh, obviously with some safe fertilizers but the grass is always greener on the other side <laughs> it sure is um, yeah so right let's, let's go see the other paddocks so we have electric fencing that runs uh, throughout all the paddocks uh, and we also have um, a second layer just so the horses can't really touch each other because as you can see um, they can be a little bit uh, problematic sometimes. Yeah, Andres still needs to get rid of his hormones before he will be friendly. Yeah and we just don't want to, it's just about minimizing injuries with horses because they, it's, I always say horses are like on a 24-7 mission to try and kill themselves. So anyway it doesn't matter, let's go see though, <laughs> let's go see the horses and you can see the big paddock as well. And then we. You are coming! Wow. <laughs> um, so is it going? A little bit more personality than. Stop, oh, are you rolling? Yes! Okay, you bitches. <laughs> you should take the first. <laughs> Damn it! Okay, um, I can actually see the horses looking at us from here, so let's go meet them. We have, uh, I've actually never had my horse in a paddock before with other horses, so that... <laughs> okay, put yourself together. Uh, no, she's been really, really sweet. I'm very... As we were talking, the whole... Oh. As we were talking, the whole time somehow just disintegrated. Um, Fix that. That's just horses. Horses somehow break everything. In three seconds, broken. Okay. <laughs> 